What up boys and welcome back to yet another gold making video. So lately I've been doing a few of these videos where I basically just talk about frequently asked questions uh, and I'll try to answer them as best as I possibly can. And today's video is going to be one of those. It's going to be the topic is basically how do you start out with gold making now in 2022. Now obviously there's going to be a lot of different opinions on this so I, I'm only going to talk it from my standpoint like how I would start with gold making if I were to start now because there's going to be some people telling you to go and do completely different roads uh, up to gold cap because Luckily, the game has been in development for so long now. There's so much content out there. So there's so many different ways of making gold. There is no right or wrong. The only thing you got to make sure that you're doing is you got to focus on doing the method that you actually enjoy doing. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to pull through. And we're also going to talk about that in today's video. I do want to mention that today is the last day of my birthday sale. Yes, if you missed it. I'm no longer in my 20s. Do I feel old? Yes, I do. Uh, but if you guys haven't already, you can still grab any of the gold guides for only $9.90 each. So if you're playing Classic Wrath of the Lich King, or, well, if you're planning on playing it, or TBC Classic, you can grab those. Or you could grab the, the Far Right book, the 0 to 10 million gold guide, for only $9.90. And yes, this does include every single future update. So if you buy the retail 0 to 10 million gold guide, whenever Dragonflight comes out, you will be able to get the, the Dragonflight version for free. And a big thank you for all the birthday congratulations and everyone that has supported me by picking up one of the, the books this weekend. So when it comes to gold making and how to get started out, and uh, it's the problem that people usually have is they don't see any results so they give up right they watch videos from me or other fellow content creators and when we make videos on like insane the transmog farms like we make 200,000 gold on average an hour doing an open world transmog farm or we're running into goddamn old man and sunken temple and we're getting super expensive transmog item. Now, that is definitely the wrong way to start with gold making. Because the first problem, the first obstacle you got to get over is uh, motivation. You need to see that the time you're putting in is giving you something in return. So that's why you should always start out by farming something simple. Something that sells faster and we're obviously then talking about materials however eight out of ten people when they need to make gold they automatically go into the current content which right now is shadowlands and they do like a gathering profession in shadowlands everyone does that even the bots are doing it so that's not where you will usually get your highest gold per hour instead if you look at older content materials that still sells very fast right if you look at stuff like volatiles for instance you can make a very high gold per hour farming stuff like volatiles or even farming primals you can do um all the different skinning farms all the different mining and herbalism farms in the game that will give you a steady flow of income so that's why also the zero to 10, 10 million gold get starts with that uh, it's not only because you will be way more motivated by seeing sales, right? It's also because the easiest way to make gold when you want to step into transmog is with crafted transmog. But you can't really make any gold uh, with crafted transmog unless you have gold. It costs gold to level up the professions. It's going to cost you gold to buy patterns and plans. And more importantly, you don't want to buy the materials to craft the transmog items. That's not efficient because time is money. So you also want gold to buy the materials um, and then just craft the item and sell it for a profit. So that's where what I really want to get um, in this video is for people to understand that just jumping on whatever you see people do in YouTube videos and live streams uh, 
which is usually the high RNG, like the, the super fun stuff. People farm transmog because it's fun. You get that kick whenever you get something of value. And you always know that the next mob could drop you something of value. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's your best way of making gold. The majority, the majority of the gold that I make is from materials and then like closely followed by crafted transmog farmed transmog is what i make the least amount of gold on it really is but it's also the most fun way of making gold but you first got to get over that that obstacle of getting gold in the first place seeing that whenever you put in the hours you will see something in return so i always advise people when they ask me this question on my live stream to go and farm materials sell the materials see that oh shit i'm actually making gold when i put in the hours and then once you have capital you can start to invest that capital into something that's going to generate you more gold so that it's pretty easy if you want to make gold you need to either invest time or gold right so you should do both and uh, then you'll start seeing sales you build up your uh crafted like crafting transmog tunes once you've done that, you can spice it all up with farm the transmog. Because guess what? You have all the different professions leveled up. You have all the patterns and the plants farmed. And you're just waiting on sales now, pretty much. So as long as you have all of that down, you're literally just printing gold. You're using the gold from the sales to recraft items. And your total amount of gold keeps on going up every single week. So um, while you're waiting on sales from crafted mugs, you can go ahead and you can do the fun stuff, which is farm transmog. But too many people are jumping into farming transmog uh, and they don't realize that they're not going to get a lot of steady sales until they have like a thousand plus transmog items. So I just want people to enjoy gold farming and I understand that you lose motivation if you go out and you do these dungeons and you join these open world transport farms and you're not seeing any result, you're like, screw this. I'm not going to waste my time on this. Uh, I'm rather just going to swipe my Visa card and buy a WoW token. So the order that I would do it, to put it very simple, is to farm old materials. And I'm talking old school mining, mining for cobalt, uh, sarenite, titanium, fell iron, elementium, uh, like obsidian or even herbalism doing stuff as a shearer's veil and whip tail which is very popular and skinning oh god skinning there's so many good skinning farms as well i could make individual videos on these professions if you guys want to like the top five skinning farms the top five steady mining farms and so on um but that's where i would start once you're starting to see gold coming in from that then definitely invest your gold into blacksmithing, tailoring, and leatherworking to begin with. Just focus on leveling the professions up in each expansion before you invest any gold into buying patterns and plus. Because even the base stuff that the trainer will teach you will sell as transmog, right? So that's where you begin. And then once you've leveled up all your professions, you invest that gold into buying patterns and plants. So basically how you do that is whenever you level up your profession, you go on the auction house, you click on recipes and whatever recipe you have on the tune, and then you just mark uncollected only, right? And then you obviously I don't have a profession on this tune, and then you buy, you sort it by price and you buy all of the cheap ones. You can spend like a thousand gold and get like a, a bunch of patterns and plants that you didn't already have. Right, so that's what you should do. Like you buy all the patterns and plans for the price that you're comfortable with, buy as many as you can, rather than buying the expensive one first. There's no point in buying a two hundred thousand gold blacksmithing plan when you could have spent those two hundred thousand gold buying sixty uh, other like lower cost blacksmithing plans, and that's gonna probably generate you more gold because. Transmog sells slowly, so would, you would rather craft 60 different items than one bigger item, if that makes sense. And if you guys got any other questions whatsoever, please, or if you have an, like an idea on what I should talk about next in one of these videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you uh, thought this video was interesting and you want to watch more, and I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.